According to a tweet by the leaker Sawyer Gallo, who is known for tech scoops, the new Galaxy S25 Ultra might have more RAM than before. If you get the right model, you could see it jump from 12 gigs to 16 gigs, which is pretty neat. The previous Galaxy S24 Ultra always had 12 gigs of RAM, no matter what. But in the tweet, Sawyer Gala says that the basic version of the Galaxy S25 Ultra will still have 12 gigs of RAM, just like before, along with 256 gigs of storage. If you choose to pay extra for the model with either 512 gigs or 1 TB of storage, you'll also get more RAM bumped up to 16 gigs. Oh, and talking about changes, the screen size on the Galaxy S25 Ultra will go up a bit from 6.8 inches to 6.9 inches. And it's likely that the phone will run on a new Snapdragon chip called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which will be made using Samsung's latest technology. Samsung has given its top-tier Galaxy S phones 16 gigs of RAM before. Back in March 2020, the Galaxy S20 Ultra had a version with 512 gigs of storage and 16 gigs of RAM. The trend continued with the 2021 Galaxy S21 Ultra, which also had 16 gigs of RAM with 512 gigs of storage. However, after that, Samsung stuck to 12 gigs of RAM for the Galaxy S22 Ultra, Galaxy S23 Ultra, and Galaxy S24 Ultra, without offering the 16 gigs option. Having more RAM in smartphones means you can keep more apps open at the same time without needing to close any. Samsung is also looking to beef up its Galaxy I features with the Galaxy S25 series. These new features like generative AI need a lot of RAM, CPU power, and storage space. So even though the basic Galaxy S25 Ultra will start with 12 gigs of RAM, upgrading to 16 gigs would be important for handling these advanced features smoothly. Also, here we have another news. Apple is copying a Galaxy AI feature for iOS. Samsung's One UI 6.1 update includes a new feature called Transcript Assist in its voice recorder app powered by Galaxy AI. This feature can transcribe voice recordings and even provide AI-generated summaries to help users understand the content better. It's undoubtedly a handy tool for everyday use. Interestingly, Apple seems to be impressed by this feature and is reportedly working on implementing a similar transcript assist feature for iPhones in the upcoming iOS 18 update. According to a new report from Apple Insider, the voice memos and notes applications in iOS 18 will offer the ability to transcribe voice recordings. The two apps will also be able to provide AI-generated summaries for those transcriptions. We heard that Apple is planning to update its notes app for iPhones with a new feature. It will let users record audio directly within their notes, just like Samsung's Notes app does for Galaxy devices. This means Apple is borrowing another idea from Samsung. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. We're now going to run through the full specs design and the expected pricing to help you guys decide if it is worth the wait for my regular viewers. You guys have seen this so just skip to the next video, but if you're new here then hit subscribe now and we'll get right into it. So with the Galaxy S25, equipped with a 6.2 inch 120Hz dynamic AML LED display boasting a resolution of 2340x1080, shielded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for durability. For selfies, there's a 12 megapixel punch hole front camera. Turning to the back, the phone features a 50 megapixel primary camera a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or possibly the Exynos 2500. The device offers 8 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 128 gigs or 256 gigs, utilizing UXS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 houses a 4000 mAh battery supporting 25 dB fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the phone is expected to be released in January 2025 with an estimated price range of $800. Now let's introduce the Galaxy S25 Plus, featuring an impressive 6.7-inch 120Hz dynamic AMOLED display with an upgraded Quad HD Plus resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by Gorilla Glass Victus 2 
and reinforced with aluminum 2.0 for added durability. For selfies, a 12 megapixel punch hole camera takes the spotlight. On the back, you'll find a powerful camera setup with a 50 megapixel primary lens, a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. It's equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 or the Exynos 2500. The phone offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs or 512 gigs, utilizing UFS 4.1 technology. The Galaxy S25 Plus features a robust 4,900 mAh battery supporting 45V fast charging. Connectivity options include 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, the expected price for this device is around $1,150. Finally, let's explore the flagship of the lineup, the Galaxy S25 Ultra, showcasing a generous 6.9-inch 120Hz dynamic A and OLED display with a crisp resolution of 3088x1440. It incorporates Samsung's advanced M13 OLED panel safeguarded by the durable Gorilla Glass Victus 2. For capturing stunning selfies, there's a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the back, the phone features an outstanding camera setup including a 200-megapixel primary lens, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide lens, a 50-megapixel 3x telephoto lens, and a 10-megapixel telephoto lens with an impressive 10x optical zoom. Contrary to earlier rumors, it is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 across all regions, distinguishing it from the S24 and S24 Plus, which stick with the Exynos. The S25 Ultra offers a substantial 12 gigs of RAM with storage choices of 256 gigs, 512 gigs, and 1 TB, leveraging UFS 4.1 technology. Housed within is a robust 5,000 mAh battery supporting Swift 45V fast charging. Connectivity features encompass 5G support, Bluetooth 5.3, and Wi-Fi 7. Operating on One UI 6.1 based on Android 14, this premium device is anticipated to launch with an approximate price tag of $1,199. Take all this info with a pinch of salt. If you find any mistakes or missing information in the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra specifications, please tell us. We're working hard to make sure everything is accurate, but sometimes errors can happen. Your feedback helps us improve. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.